on the red carpet at the NAACP Gala. There are a lot of celebrities. We got some good stuff for you, so stay tuned. Hello, Eric. You look fabulous tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. I kind of threw this together last minute. I was running late and traffic's bad, so I hope it came out all right. Oh, you're looking good. <laughs> looking good. Thank you. How does it feel to be nominated tonight? It's it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's such a great feeling. You know, anytime somebody nominates, well, not nominates, anytime somebody says... You know, you're doing a good job in whatever you're doing, whether you're you know, waiting tables, whether you're working in an office or, or acting on a TV show, it's a good feeling. And then to come to something like this and, and be involved, not only involved, but nominated for something of this caliber, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, really awesome experience. Definitely, and we commend you on that. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tori Kittles, and I'm wonderful. I'm here nominated for uh, Still Magnolia's Best Actor in a Television Movie or Miniseries. Um, it's a great recognition that the NAACP has given me, and um, I'm very I'm honored. I'm very honored. Um, I saw the original Still Magnolia. Mm-hmm. I did not watch it until after we were filming. No, I didn't. Um, you know, I'd known my mom was a fan of it. Everybody I knew was a fan of that movie. And, you know, when you're going into a character, you don't want to look at what's been done before. You just kind of want to approach it with the, with fresh eyes. That's how it was for me, anyway. And um, and so I just wanted to do that to the best of my ability. And we had such a great cast. We had Queen Latifah. We had Jill Scott. We had... You know, Condola Rashad, Adapero Odai, Miss Felicia Rashad, you know what I mean? Um, Lance Gross, you know, Kenny Leon bringing everything together. And we had great producers, Neil Marin and Craig Zayden. So, you know, I was already going into it with a great group of people. And I, I felt like we were going to do something special, and I, I think we did. The way the fans turned in, t tuned in was incredible. And we keep receiving love for it. And now this... I mean, we're nominated for Best Picture, you know, Best Television Movie. We're nominated for um, Best Actress, I think Queen is, and, and Miss Rashad, and Miss uh, Miss Alfrey Woodard. So, it's just just great, great to be here. I'm very well tonight. What brings you out? You're not a nominated. Right? Not this year, I'm not. Uh, I've been nominated eight times this year. I'm just here to enjoy and support all my friends that are. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, tell us what wonderful project. And I love free parties. No. <laughs> Free fun parties. <laughs> oh yeah, Shameless is uh, Shameless is uh, coming out. I, I, this is my third year recurring on Shameless, and it, uh, my arc it's already out, but my arc begins on the 17th of February, and I'm very excited about that. It's really some good stuff that's coming up, and I have my uh, blog talk radio show that I do every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time called That's So Very Vanessa, and I have my webisodes that will be coming out that I've created and produced uh, that will be coming out at. Uh, the end of uh, spring, early summer, and three of my uh, independent features have hit, so it's good. I'm busy. Shameless. Yes. It's lovely. Shanola Hampton, who I just simply adore. I'm her mom, and we are, all I can say is, it's shameless. It's, it's holding up to its name. Now, you watch. I mean, you should have already been watching because it started, you know, in January, but I come in on the 17th in two weeks, and it is shameless. That's all I can tell you right now. I can't. It's going to speak for itself. If you watch, you'll be asked, you'll be like, oh, my God. It, it's that type of shit. Like, oh, my God. It's going to be that kind of stuff. But it was fun. Thank you. My name is Vincent M. Ward, actor from uh, the number one show on AMC, The Walking Dead, and I'm here to support. You know, I'm not really nominated for anything, but, you know, not this year. But I'm here to support and just come out, just have a good time, rub rub elbows and, and, and talk. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. It's actually on AMC. You know what? It's an honor because I didn't realize what I was I was involved in. I'd never even seen The Walking Dead, but these fans, 
it's crazy. It's it's uh it's they make you feel they they show you so much love. So you know, I'm grateful for being there. Shooting for designer original magazine tonight. Okay. Uh, and you're looking dapper. I'm trying my best. You're looking dapper. We are actually in search for a celeb for the cover of our magazine. So I'm gonna have to talk to you about that. Um, I will tell you, while I was researching your career, because I didn't do it before we started doing the humor meal scene, but, but I did after. I did not know that you did all those episodes of. Oh, uh, here we go. A certain Cinemax show that we all kind of, kind of know and, and love. <laughs> How was it working with Miss Patricia, Miss Patrice Fisher? Patricia is very, is really a great perfectionist. She's really serious about her stuff. Although you know, you know, she had to get naked and had to hit some scenes, or whatever. But, but she's really good. Like she always wants to rehearse with everybody. She wants to do her thing. So I appreciate that because she really committed to the art. Although people, you know, look down upon it because it was like it's all boring to some degree. But she still, as an actress, still made her acting real. That's why we, the storylines and everything was really believable when you really got engaged in a story outside of the sex that was involved in it. So, Is there a rumor, I hear, there could be a rumor that there could be a Zane too? No, it will not be. What it, what it is, is she did a spinoff called The Jump Off. Okay. The Zane, as far as the name of that show, is dumb. It has a show coming out this spring called The Jump Off. So a lot of the same cast members are involved in that. Okay. Same, but a little bit less sex more story right, right. but it's still intense yeah i won't be involved in that all right well enough of your successful <laughs> past <laughs> uh, so, it's terrible. tell me what you're working on right now let's, let's talk right now i have a movie that's in the pan-african film festival so because it's you no know, we're here with, for the NAACP awards we want to support that that's february the 8th this movie called holler 2 it's a horror movie that's coming out i have another movie coming out at amc theaters march 29th called the cleavers Phantom reunion had a movie with Paula Patton and Derek Luke and Octavia Spencer on October 25th called Baggage Claim. And I'm also producing a movie, that's the acting, so I'm producing a movie called The Hills. That starts in March. So I'm on both sides of the camera. There's a lot going on to be blessed 2013. We're going to have to delete all this shit. <laughs> well, by the way, he changed his number, so it's hard for me to get there. He thought that I was only doing student films. So he's like, oh, I don't trade, whatever. <laughs> now he's like, IMDb, like, oh. Uh, last time I saw you, I think it was the Long Beach Jazz Festival Beach. last year. So, three nominations, four nominations tonight. Four nominations. Amazing, amazing. Are you excited? Is it? Of course. Just, I'm here with Angel. Every day, I already know. Oh, I was actually, I was actually surprised, you know. Uh, uh, but I, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really grateful that uh, the Christmas record is getting. Uh, Getting the kudos, you know, glorify the king, getting the, you know, Christmas being about, you know, uh, celebration of the birth of the Christ, you know, uh, the duet with Let Us See Be Mine for Christmas, the, the video, You're On My Mind from uh, from the Intimacy album. It's a good day, you know, it's a good day, you know, it's a celebration of uh, what I believe is great music, you know. Oh, absolutely. You know. There you go. They work. They work for me now. <laughs> All right. They're trying to get in now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. But I heard you got a uh, you got a line on that. You can hook a brother up. We'll talk off camera. Yeah. Yeah. First, first, I don't know if I want to talk to the dress. Oh, you so silly. Now that's funny. That's funny. Now you know you got to talk to me. <laughs> so I'm Derek Hutchinson. Yeah, I'm shooting for Designer Original Magazine. Oh, awesome. Which is why I saw the dress first Thank and went you. amazing. Thank you. So tell me, tell me why you're nominated. Are you supporting or I'm supporting and I'm nominated. So it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling to be able to do both. For Best Actress in a Daytime Drama, The Young and the Restless. Yeah, yeah. It is. And I feel really good and I feel, I'm, I just feel blessed to even be part I'm um, like, wow, okay, so all my hard work and my, you know, these baby steps are turning into big giant leaps, slowly but surely, you know, you start to feel like things are actually, you know, the people recognize your work. That's a good feeling. I don't do it for that, but I, it's a nice feeling. I can't find <laughs> Yeah. Did you? Yes. The question I put to them is, now that you are here, because... 
for, for up and coming actors and actresses, this is their dream job. Yeah. You have their dream job. Right. What is your uh, dream job? Oh, wow. My dream. Something with children. I like, I love kids. So something working with children. Um, or interior designing, something like that. I'm not sure. And, and designing and children. Something in those, that realm. Interesting you said that. So it would ne not necessarily be in not necessarily. Oh, well, this is my dream. Though. Oh, let, let me not. Let me be clear. This is my dream job. I am definitely living my dream as we speak, which is a beautiful thing to be able to do. But if I weren't doing this, that's what I would do. And hopefully, I can still do something in that field. Would you rather do daytime or would you rather do film? Oh, there's no. Oh no, it's, it's a time and a place for everything. It's a season. You know, so I want to do, I want to do, I mean, I've done films before, um, Baby Boy and Virgil Johnson, but I, I definitely hope to do more film, that's for sure. So we'll see what the future brings. My status had laces in, I was like, this is a whole lot of laces. I love the Image Awards. I love um, meeting with my colleagues and coming and hanging out with them. And, you know, it's just really nice to come and be a part of a show that really honors all aspects of entertainment for African Americans. I mean, from movies to TV, from uh, the literary world to music. It's awesome. It's real. When it's time to get that check, it's real, no? <laughs> I'm tough, and I don't think that you should be apologetic about being tough. I mean, I trained my whole life, um, education-wise, corporate America-wise. I mean, I was ready when I walked in the boardroom, but when I walk out of the boardroom, I leave it there. Are you tough in business? I'm pretty tough. Oh, you have to be. <laughs> All-Star Celebrity Apprentice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to bring that check home to the Sue Duncan Children's Center. Yeah. Absolutely. I just finished a film called Knock Them Dead. Mm -hmm. God bless you.